Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the costs and benefits of ectotherms. The ectotherms have certain advantages and disadvantages as compared to the endotherms. Being an ectotherm has its biological costs and benefits which are inverse to those of being an endotherm. We can make certain generalizations about the costs and benefits of both groups, ectotherms and endotherms. First, we shall discuss the benefits of ectothermy and compare it with those of endothermy. The first benefit of ectothermy is that ectotherms use less energy in maintaining metabolic rate and temperature. So, they can conserve a lot of energy over 50% which can be used in more important functions that is growth and reproduction. In comparison, endotherms utilize about 98% of their energy in maintaining their metabolic rate and body temperature. The second benefit of ectothermy is that they require less food. This advantage is that they require less time in the process of obtaining food that is foraging. In this case, endotherms are big consumers, so they spend more time on foraging. For example, a lizard or a rodent, which are in the same habitat and are in the same diet, so if you compare it, so a lizard, which is an ectotherm, has that takes 17 times lesser food than the rodent. Dear students, the third benefit of ectothermy is that the ectotherms which live in comparatively cooler microclimates or habitats, they face less evaporative water loss. Because in a water loss ka khatra zyadar nahi hota, is liye they have not massive bodies to reduce the surface area to volume ratio. Iske mukaabale mein jo endotherms hote hain, unko chukke evaporative water loss ka saamna zyada hota hai ya other mechanism se bhi wo water lose karte hain, is liye they are comparatively massive and bulky to reduce their surface area to volume ratios. Uh, low respiratory rates in ectotherms also reduce water loss that also gives them the same benefit. Dear students, ectotherms tropics ke environments mein sabse zyada successful animals hain. They even outcompete endotherms in those environments. Khas taur ke upar reptiles ki population or diversity in the number of species jo hai wo tropics mein uh, reptiles ki bohat zyada hai. This competitive success is due to their greater energy economy. Dear students, benefits ke ilawa is ectothermy ke kuch disadvantages ya costs bhi hain. Number one, ectotherms require behavioral thermoregulatory activities. These activities are always time consuming and also have certain limits. For example, basking in the sun, dhoop sekne ke liye, agar baitte hain, to that is time wasting, as well as, it is limiting, ke agar solar radiation available nahi hogi, to then they cannot warm up their bodies. Number two, ectotherms generate and expend lower energy. Due to this, they cannot sustain longer periods of intense activity. Jab energy activity ke dauraan bohat zyada miqdar mein produce nahi ki ja sakegi, to wo us activity ko zyada dher ke liye maintain nahi rakh sakte. 
इसके मुकाबले में एंडोथर्म्स विच हैव हाई रेट्स ऑफ एरोबिक रेस्परेशन एंड एनर्जी यील्ड दे कैन सस्टेन लॉन्गर पीरियड्स ऑफ इंटेंस एक्टिविटी दर्ड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ एक्टोथर्मी इज दैट द कॉन्स्टेंसी ऑफ बॉडी टेम्परेचर द इनकॉन्स्टेंसी ऑफ बॉडी टेम्परेचर लोवर्स द एक्टिविटी ऑफ देयर इंजाइम्स देयर इंजाइम्स बिकम इंटरमीडेंटली एक्टिव इसके मुकाबले में जो एंडोथर्म्स होते हैं उनके इंजाइम हर वक्त बगैर फ्लक्चुएशन के एफिशिएंटली काम करते रहते हैं चौथा डिसएडवांटेज जो एक्टोथर्मी का है वो ये है कि एक्टोथर्म्स कंपैरेटिवली स्लगिश एनिमल्स हैं और प्रीडेटर के तौर पर दे आर लेस लेस कॉम्पिटेंट इन कोल्ड क्राइम क्लाइमेट दैट इज वाई कि इस तरह के प्रीडेटर टाइप के जो एक्टोथर्म्स हैं ये टेम्परेट रीजन्स में और कोल्ड क्लाइमेट्स में कम पाए जाते हैं इसके मुकाबले में एंडोथर्म्स हैव ए सिग्निफिकेंट कॉम्पेटिटिव एज ओवर एक्टोथर्म्स इन कोल्ड क्लाइमेट्स द फिफ्थ डिसएडवांटेज आर कोस्ट ऑफ एक्टोथर्मी इज दैट दे आर ऑफन लेस एक्टिव due to their lower activity they are more vulnerable to predation agar ye dhoop sek rahe hain ya apne temperature fall hone ki wajah se long sleep pe chale gaye hain to in that case they are more vulnerable ke unko koi shikar kar le that is why their survival is in danger because of ectothermy 